Hello, love bugs. I am in the process of redecorating my house, which also means that I have been playing a bunch with the new bay windows. I wanted to show you a couple of my ideas that I have for the bay windows and then figure that you can all go make it better. A lot of these ideas aren't fully fleshed out yet, uh, but they're on their way. So let me give you some ideas. First off, can we just notice how beautiful they look on the front of the Harvest House if you put one on each side? Absolutely stunning. It is the only one of the buildings where you can do this, and I highly recommend doing it on your plot because it just looks beautiful. If you don't know quite what you want to put in those windows, let me show you what I've done. Um, as some of you know, I have flipped my Harvest House around so that I could have a foyer off the front of my house. And so my Harvest House is um, like my backyard entrance into my garden. So the first area that I made that might be a little different is a spot to like change my boots after going to the garden to check on saplings that I'm working on. I like to make spots in my house that actually feel like places that I'm living in. So I don't generally make my houses look like show houses. They more look cluttered and like a place where somebody is actually living. So a spot for me to put up my hat and my sweater and a spot for me to sit and change my shoes and uh, to look at some of the bugs that maybe I've caught and a basket to collect my vegetables and things. Uh, so that's the first thing that I did for the windows. If you head over to this window, however, I decided to go a little bit more classy. I took a couple of, just like I did on the other side of the iron wall shelves and attached them to the end to extend uh, the front from the, the little base base in the window there and created a little sitting spot. And I imagine myself and Jell just sitting here, looking out over our garden, waiting at the kitsu, or waving at the kitsu, uh, sitting on its little stand, giving it some love, having a bottle of wine, eating some snacks. And I just think it's a cute little space off the front. I'm currently in the process of moving my kitchen from a different room, so ignore the rest of this, but... I did think that the bay window would be beautiful to have on a hallway end with a pantry. So that's what I started designing here. I haven't colored everything the way that I want it yet or figured out all those details yet. Uh, but I love the idea of building a pantry off your kitchen with some plants and things in the window as well. I also just like how things kind of hang in front of the bay window. I've been playing with different lamps and whatnot in here, but I might switch that light out and hang the pots and pans back in that spot again. Uh, it just looks really pretty, and I, I really enjoy the the addedness of the little shelf here that the bay window gives compared for the, to this just being a wall with a window on it. Um, it really adds some more depth into this space so that it doesn't feel quite as crowded of a pantry as it does without it. Before we head to my favorite space that I've done so far with the bay window, I just thought I'd show this off really quick. It's nothing fancy. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this space yet, which is my bar space. But they are also just lovely decorated with lots of light. This looks really pretty from the outside. Let me show you. Like, especially at night, look at that beautiful glow that comes out of the window from the lanterns. It's just very pretty. So if you're looking for something more minimalist or for your window just to be something beautiful, there's obviously a lot of really amazing, simple things you can do with the windows, too. So don't knock just being simple with it either. But then again, if you're like me and you like some maximalism, uh, obviously, again, this room isn't finished. But look at how beautiful this is as a space for, like, your tub like candles and light and stunningness and <laughs> i'm just i'm obsessed imagine sitting here taking a nice little tubby surrounded by flowers beautiful lights and i like how like the lights are stacked that they make this beautiful glow but while it does feel kind of like people could peek in your window maybe it also does kind of block some of the visual people being able to look in the bay window while you're having your nice little tubby i just think this is so beautiful i love using uh using the fish and making them kind of part of the decor in the in the space there. Um, and I think having a really ritzy, beautiful bathroom is a super fun way to make a bay window really shine. So which one of my ideas was your favorite? And how are you going to make them better? Let me know in the comments. So I'm always looking to improve on my designs as well. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to help support the channel as well. Thank you so much, love bugs. I love you. Bye-bye.